What is Elixir? Hi, this is Asia G from the Full Stack Videos channel. I've been focusing on Rails in my videos because that's a good place to get started to learn web application development. There are alternatives to Rails though, and you might have heard of Elixir. This video is a quick introduction so you'll know what it is and whether you should use it. Elixir is a general purpose programming language, much like Ruby or Python or Java. Interestingly, it is built on top of another programming language named Erlang. Erlang was built by the Ericsson Telecommunications Company to handle the needs of telecom switching equipment, which requires fault-tolerant, highly available, non-stop systems. Erlang has been in use in the telecom industry since the 1980s and has a robust virtual machine, just like the Java language, which makes it possible to run programs on almost any operating system. Because Erlang is so fast and so stable, it would be ideal for high-traffic websites, but it lacks some of the features that make Ruby popular for web application development. Erlang also has a reputation as a difficult language, with a lack of convenience in setting up or managing projects. That's where Elixir comes in. Jose Valim, the creator of the Elixir programming language, was a core contributor to the Rails open source project and he wanted some of the elegance and convenient features of Ruby in a language with the fault tolerance, speed, and stability of Erlang systems. In effect, he has extended the Erlang language to add the kind of features that are needed for a web application platform, such as Rails. The result is the Elixir language. You'll need more than Elixir to build web applications, though. Ruby has Ruby Gems and Drake and Bundler for setting up projects. Elixir has a Hex Package Manager and the Mix Build tool. For building web applications, Ruby has Rails. The Elixir community has a framework named Phoenix for web application development. Phoenix is not quite equivalent to Rails. For one thing, it is not as complex, partly because it is new and partly by design. Rails applications typically are large and monolithic, that is, one program tries to do everything. In contrast, Elixir developers try to build smaller, more modular programs that are combined to make a web application. Phoenix is one piece of the puzzle and is more like a library of utilities than a framework like Rails. So who is using Elixir? Most Elixir developers are experienced Rails developers who need to build websites that handle high traffic loads efficiently. You'll also find some former Rails developers who are trying a different programming approach. Ruby is an object-oriented programming language that encapsulates data and behavior in objects. Elixir is a functional programming language, like JavaScript, that strings together functions in a series of steps instead of using objects. So there's a difference in approach. Some developers like the fresh approach and the modular application design of Elixir. What's the future hold? The Elixir community will continue to grow. More developers will use Elixir for ambitious high-traffic websites, and more employers will be looking for skilled Elixir developers. Elixir is well-suited for those back-end API web applications that are becoming more important with the growth of mobile apps. Elixir is also good for WebSockets, which allows two-way continuous messaging between browser and server. But Rails isn't going away, and Elixir won't replace it. Rails provides good performance for almost all websites. Elixir is strictly a high-performance alternative that doesn't yet have the huge community, the resources, or support of the Rails ecosystem. What about you? If you're a beginner, Rails is the best place to learn web application development because the conventions are clear and there are so many resources for learning. If you have time, dive into Elixir because you'll learn more about web development by comparing the different approaches of Rails and Elixir. If you're a skilled Rails developer, learning Elixir will give you a fresh perspective on web application development. You just might find that you like Elixir more than Rails. Either way, it's worth learning. If you're a subscriber, I'd like to say I appreciate your support for the project. To get more videos like this and learn about our project, send me an email. The address is more at fullstackvideos.com. Come back for more!